We're on February 22nd today, and I don't have much in terms of a devotional thought out of this, just an observation, I think, from this Mark passage. And uh, so we're in Mark chapter 6, verses 1 to 29, and it seems that Jesus' ministry is causing a lot of confusion for people. It says that he went to his own hometown, speaking of Nazareth here, and uh, there are all kinds of questions. It says that he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were amazed. But not just amazed, uh, even offended, it says uh, later on here, um, asking all kinds of questions. Where did this man get these things? What's this wisdom that has been given to him? What are these remarkable miracles he is performing? Isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? Aren't his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. So it seems that uh, their confusion is largely drawn from what they expect and what they've seen uh, around him. Uh, but it also looks like they're just asking these questions of each other and not really going to Jesus with these questions, not really looking for the answers in the right place. And so the confusion seems to come from inside of them, not from Jesus himself, what he's doing or not doing. It seems to be their own understanding of what, what's going on there. And then uh, just a little bit further down, um, Jesus gives some instructions to his 12 disciples as he sends them out to do some ministry and gives them instructions about what to do with that. That seems to be rather, rather straightforward. But then he asks them a question as he sends them out um, about, uh, no, I guess it's not, in this context at least, there's another place where he asks them a question in, um, in, in Matthew. He asks them a question about who people are saying that he is, but um, it says, the verse 13, uh, they went out and preached and people that people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. King Herod heard about this, for Jesus' name had uh, become well known. Some were saying John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are at work with him. Others said he is Elijah. So others claim he is a prophet, like one of the prophets of long ago. And uh, Herod is convinced that it's John who he had beheaded in prison, and so it goes into that story about uh, John's beheading in prison. But again, it seems that these questions are being asked. There's a lot of opinions about what's happening, but not all of them are being addressed by what Jesus is actually saying and doing about himself. Um, so the confusion often surrounds the ministry of Jesus, and I think a lot of that confusion comes from our own internal issues and problems and our failure to ask God for solutions to the questions um, going directly to the source instead of um, kind of coming up with our own opinions or finding out what everybody else has to say. So when you have confusion, um, it's okay to talk and ask questions, but you ought to go to the source too and ask God directly about what he says about what's happening. So that will alleviate some of the confusion, I think, and keep us on the right track, keep us under the right set of authority as well. All right, that's the thought for today.